to a new video in today's video i have got some nail sugar pucker up leopard lip i think that's what they're called decals these are lovely you save 10 percent using my code now 10 oh i love the decals so much i've also got some madam glam gel polishes i'm using perfect white shaker i think i don't know if that's how you say it and food coma so i'm using those three i'm going to start by applying perfect white to two of the nails and i'm going to cure them for 60 seconds i think it's 60 seconds now and then i will do another coat and then we're going to put a little bit of white onto our palette because on the third nail i'm going to add some little hearts so when i do smaller hearts i'll use my dotting tool to create like the arches of the heart and then i'll just use my detailer brush just to fill the rest in because it's just so much easier and then i also get the it's if i hand freehand hearts i struggle getting the the top arch bits the same size uh, it's, it's it's yeah however if you do struggle with that too nail sugar do do some hearts and star outlines um i really really struggle with the stars so the star ones are ideal for me once i've done like two or three hearts i will cure them in the lamp and then i'm going to go in with a coat of shaker now this gel polish is a sheer gel polish so it's ideal for this kind of nail i'm going to cure that and then i'm going to go on back onto this nail and add some more hearts at right now if i were to do this again i probably would have done a third or fourth heart on the first the first time now these hearts they they are okay to overlap in fact when they overlap they look kind of good they, it makes the design in my opinion look slightly better so i've added some more hearts on this layer then i'm going to cure it and then again i'm going to go in with a second coat and then i will add some more hearts can you see what's happening they're becoming different colors so i'm going to add some more hearts same process this is the hearts added I'm going to cure them and then I decided just to add one more coat. So if you don't want to make your nail bulky, make sure you do it in like two coats. But I'm going to add a third because I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Actually, I don't. That's a lie. <laughs> I'm so boring. Right, there we go. Those are, I do. I think I add one more. Do I? I don't think I do. Cure those in the lamp. Right, for the next nail... No, I don't know, not the next nail. For the, we're going back to one of the white nails. I've cut out a section of the decals from the decal sheet. I'm placing it upside down on my stamper. Same process as before. You just fill in the backs. If you've seen my videos, I just dampen the back with some water. And then we will just let it set. Sorry, let it sit for several seconds. And then it will look it uh, like always it will just slide off only this time i've cut out a big section normally i'll cut out each individual design however this one has to be because of the nature of these decals i needed to cut off a section see what i mean and we just stamp it onto our nails i was trying to see if i could peel it up because it was slightly wonky there but it was my fault and in the end i was like no because i'm going to rip it so i ended up just cutting off the excess from either side obviously and then that is pretty much that now done apart from, actually no it's not i lied there is more stuff we're gonna do <laughs> right the fourth nail i'm just gonna go in with two coats of this shaker the sheer pink two coats look that's me telling you two coats and then i'm gonna use the food coma i'm gonna pop a little bit of that on my palette which you can't see because it's off screen but the leopard lips on the decals are kind of on a they 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 they, they, blah, 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 blah. they look like they are more nude like you've got pink lips and leopard lips but the leopard lips i don't know if they're on pink but they look nude to me it might be because they've got the because of the black in the leopard print it makes them look nude but i'm not sure so anyway i decided to create this heart with a nude background because we're going to fill it in with some leopard print and i wanted it to match the lips so once i have I, I made my heart a little bit bigger as well because it was quite small initially i mean it is still quite small but it's big enough for me to add some leopard print design inside so i'm not going to be too mad 
Also, I think it was quite nice that it was quite small. There we go. That's going to go in the lamp for a cure. And then using Madame Glam's gel paint for this bit and a very small dotting tool, I'm just going to create that, like repeat that kind of leopard print pattern from the lips onto the heart. And you, I mean, you just kind of do like a little arch and then put a little dot. It's quite an easy one to do. But we're going to fill this in completely until it looks like this. Ta-da! That can go in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to top coat all of these. But because my top coat's running out and it took me ages to get them completely covered in top coat, I'm going to skip forward. <laughs> this is the heart now. We've gone back to this one. I'm going to outline this with the gold gel paint from Madame Glam. I absolutely love this gold gel paint. It's got to be one of my favourites. And because there was like little gold hearts on the lips, this is why I'm adding gold onto this heart. You'll, you'll see in a minute because I'm going to do something else as well. <clears throat> Once we have outlined the heart, we're going to pop that in the lamp to cure for... Actually, no, I don't do it yet. We'll do it in a minute. I'm going to use the dotting tool to try and just go over these little tiny hearts. Initially, I was like, gosh, these are so small. I might just end up making little blobs. But I think, like, in the end, I think you can tell that they are hearts. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't all mad. <laughs> in fact, I wasn't mad at all. <laughs> right, Valentine's. Do you guys do anything for Valentine's? Do you like Valentine's? Do you hate Valentine's? What do you do? Do you do anything at all? We don't really do a lot. My other half is about as romantic as a wet fart. So we probably, it's like we get each other a card, but I think we do that out of like, duty you know like you know do you know what i mean oh <laughs> but other than that we're not we don't do anything <laughs> oh this nail i'm gonna add a gold border just so that the gold ties in with uh this nail as well i just felt like it finished that nail off quite nicely and then we're gonna add some crystals so i had a play here with some actually i didn't have a play I, well it was kind of a play but i saw it on someone else's nails this this particular placement and i thought it looked really nice i can't remember who it was but if I find it, I'll put it on the screen. Oh, also, these nails. No, not these nails. It's the other one I've just edited. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Right, this little gold trinket thingy. I put a little bit of gem glue on the back. Right, and I tried to just put it where I want it. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash cure it. Uh, but because I'm adding this on top, I wasn't too worried about adding masses of glue on the bottom of it. Because this is going to hold it into place as well. This is a Swarovski golden shadow crystal which was from crystal parade you can't get these anymore i'm going to just push some of that gem glue underneath the crystal and then i'm going to push the crystal back to where i want it i will flash cure that as well and then i'm going to add along the top some preciosa vintage rose crystals the crystals that i'm using apart from the swarovski ones uh, well, you can still get some Swarovski crystals from Crystal Parade, so I shouldn't say that. But these are all from Crystal Parade. Um, you can save 10% using my code NATMOG10. I've used a mixture of Preciosa Vintage Rose and Preciosa, I think it was Golden Honey. This this diamond-shaped crystal is also a, it's a Vintage Rose Swarovski, which I don't think they have any more of those. But these round flat backs are Preciosa, which they do have. I'm just going to add some of these onto the nail as well. And then a couple down the bottom. Sorry, three down the bottom. And then if you want... To, oh, I'm one up the top. We forgot the top one. And then if you want to, you can kind of add or fill in the design with like these little caviar beads. I do add some, but not masses. Um, and then I will give it a full cure for 60 seconds. Then the last thing I like to do when I do crystal placement is I will get a wipe and some isopropyl alcohol. And I'll just wipe over the top because it just removes any fingerprints or residue or anything on the crystals. And it just makes them nice and sparkly. But that is that done. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> right, this is them done. I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. And if you hit that notification bell, you won't miss any future uploads. <laughs> I'm going to leave websites and discount codes below. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you beautiful lot in the next one. Love you. Bye.